Samus likes to stop jumps. Bowser likes to up B. Yeah, to catch jumps. So this is going to be the battle of who's really going to be more jump happy. And I feel like, in general, Floppy Fail is going to be a lot better at just stopping the approaches as well as just overall combo game and just zoning. I feel like Floppy Fail, character-wise, definitely has the advantage. Yeah. And, and Floppy also has the Narwhal experience that they do play a lot because uh, Narwhal has you know been a, a regular NJT uh, like at our NJT event for a while, um, as well as like yeah just the mm. way he's just playing this matchup is he's really just sitting underneath a platform and just like poking around it, and I'm not really seeing too many like now now we're finally seeing the, the ground approaches come out but that's a big thing it's just forward tilt up tilt up out of shield like even even if you don't get like a anti-air attempt. It's still good to just do as like a check to catch them like moving, especially slower characters. Oh, nice double carry. I think that was auto though, um, so it doesn't count. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but still, this is going to be a really good position for Floppy Fail to be in as they're just, you know, taking this lead and bringing it to their home really as, you know, it's going to be really difficult for Stinky to really secure this stock. Ooh, the the wrong way. So it's going to be you know, Floppy failed to really finish up this Good. stock. Getting the yeah. up B, it's not going to kill just yet. But that charge shot won't eat either. Bowser, very heavy. So it's going to be up B's galore right. for this matchup. Yeah, huge thing right now is keeping Samus at ledge. Nice forward air, catching that. But honestly, mo more Bowsers just need to shield out ledge and react. Yeah. Like, the, o the only thing that like you can't beat on reaction is ledge jump. Just because, like, the way they, they program ledge jump in this game, as well as... Um, the fact that like, you have to jump out of shield, but the fact that you only have to do like a 50-50 like a reaction, uh, like a 50-50 call out is way easier than trying to do like cover four options at once. Yeah. And this is just coming down to a lot of, you know, just ledge trapping as well as just overall well ne placed neutral play. And Floppy Fail has been Wait, doing a really good special? job as well no, he gets as... The special, wow. the special. Three stock. Ending it with that. Impressive play, honestly. Uh, he's he's been doing that to people for like a good good solid year. Like, thankfully I play a small floaty, so I, I never have to deal with that. But <laughs> <laughs> like, so many players, you just need that hard SDI away. Like, if you're being taken towards a platform, like you, you do the Mario where you try to aim for the center stage, try try to get them to like to cross up their up air, and if you can't do that, then you SDI and pray and you just hold hard out. Like you don't want you don't want them to try to do it there yeah. where he was able to get the side switch. And the side, like the, but you can also like trying to recognize when, when you when you have been side switch is also huge for surviving that because like how do you, he might have just died there because the rage, but most of the time you can actually survive if you die the side switch. But yeah, this is uh, gonna be just the case of oh not, again. God, not again, not again, not again, please. Oh uh, uh, yeah, right, right, right. see there we go. Seventy-two percent is still so it's gonna be a really good first stock <laughs> opening for floppy fail. And almost getting the stock, but barely missing the nair. So it's going to be going back to neutral. Right. And Floppy Fail, with their positioning, isn't going to be getting too, too much. All right. But able to reverse it just a little bit, getting the advantage going and neutral back as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Stinky is, you know, starting to think a little bit more about that, that, like that, that ledge trapping, just how important that is. He's doing like very good job mixing up his ledge options. That's been huge. And just like, that's the thing is that. To, to like beat Samus, you need to like almost out ground game her, because uh, she, she's so reliant on you jumping at her uh, with all her multi hits and her like really good uh, like pivot grab and you know charge shot that you know her grounded option suffers. She only has like like forward tilt, which is a good poke, and down tilt, which you know is only needs to be safe to be good on shield. That that was some tricky ass movement. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that, like that's why bomb is so good in this game because like. The huge airspeed buffs on, on all the characters, and you kind of just go back, forth, back, forth. It's just constantly playing a 50 50 if they're gonna, full, like, when they're gonna finally fully drift up one way and the other. Yeah, and right now, this is just battle of heavies at the moment. Yeah. So it is just gonna be coming down to who can get that last hit and really secure the stock for the moment. But it's looking like yeah. Floppy Fail able to get the up throw and secure that first stock. Let's see how they're gonna be able to hold on to it, and they're gonna be able to. And keeps things going, just holding neutral now and mm. getting the up airs. Good but reversal. Yeah, not the most well placed of up smashes is going to be getting reversal there. Either try to bait out the like a uh, fast neutral air dodge, or 
messed up the the jump the jump buff up here. Like he might he might have jump canceled instead of that. Oh, Floppy loves doing down B down here. Like so, like most of the time it is a, you know probably the optimal punish, but like sometimes you can just go for like a weak forward smash or a weak forward tilt because you'll still set up for uh, like ledge and get just about the same percent. And right now it's just Stinky doing a really you know poor job of getting out of disadvantage and finding these neutral hits that they need to be able to get things going. They yeah, need to be able to turtle a little bit more, but with this lead, it is not looking easy. But as I say that, they're able to start getting a little bit more, missing the first part of the up smash, but getting the second, getting reversaled. So yep, yep. it's gonna be floppy oh, fail. Oh wow, catches not it. pressing. Yeah, just not pressing a button and getting punished for it. So now, floppy fail, continuing the lead even more. Hopefully. That's a big thing is Stinky keeps going for these dash grabs. You need to start really working on your, your command grabs, especially like once you start getting into like 130 or 140. It's like with these with these huge platforms in play, they're really easy to, to get kills off of. Like that's why like small battlefield, Smashville, and like ta and um, not town, uh, ba uh, regular battlefield are so good for battle uh, for Bowser because he gets like really high platforms to work with. That are really always, like, good up air. That was a really good up air. Going to be able to even things out, but yeah, tilt. All right. Fail. Going yeah, to be too high percent. This up airs. Hopefully, oh, missile. hopefully keeping this going. But Stinky going to be able to get out, but not get a good up B. This is going back to a neutral situation. Yeah, versus Float is like they don't have uh, because of their fall speed. They don't have that option of immediately fast fall air dodge. So you always need to wait that half second when you're when you're ledge trapping them. Like going to immediately swing at them. Most of the time they're gonna they're gonna use their jump or they're what, like most most of them have like some way to stall their fall, like bomb or um, like uh, like all up B or right? like even like Mewtwo side B. So that's a big thing. It's just always just wait that half second when you're fighting uh, slower falling characters. Okay, this could be a game. Does not get the solve game at the ledge and reversal from Stinky. So Stinky probably looking. Oh, I thought they were gonna look for the up B, but no, instead going to be getting a grab. Oh wow, wow actually gets timing. him. Great timing on the down B, gonna be able to secure that stock. So they're gonna be evening things out 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and yeah. Stinky did, I feel like, a lot better a job at just the scramble situation compared to the uh, first game in which it was just floppy taking control of the advantage state for really long times. Yeah, the the sticking her head out like that, like that's the thing. Certain zeros, you like you like fly up in the sky before you swing back down. I thought her zero to Samus. I'm like, what? <laughs> Floppy does not play that. All right, yeah, but, but I definitely feel like you know, back to PS2. It's just come down to if you can actually get those lead traps. Because had had he actually solved game when he had Bowser at ledge, uh, and you know, done the like half charge like up tilt or bomb up tilt or bomb like half charge side neutral B. It would have been game. Yeah. Oh, and this is a pretty good opening for Stinky, getting, you know, a good 31%. Um, but a lot of panic options right now as Stinky is just going to be doing these down airs and hits, hoping to get something in. But Floppy is now answering back with just a lot of damage of their own. Yeah. Just on the flip side, like when you're when you're fighting against a flo like a floating like when you're in advantage, you gotta wait. Also in, in disadvantage, they're not they're not fast characters, so you can actually like if you see them giving you some space, you can take that space and, and like burn your jump to kind of reposition and and give yourself more mix opportunities. Because um, most of the time that they're like they're spacing in a way that they want you to to undershoot uh, and get uh, whiff punished. Ooh, that's Ooh, the back air, and that's gonna bear. secure the stock. Floppy not happy with dropping that. That was huge. Yeah, the scramble situations have been starting to go towards Stinky 3's favor, so it's going to be up to Floppy to really bring this back, as well as, you know, just keep composure going, because composure against Bowser is the most important thing, as yeah. you got to respect him, but also not respect him, because he's a big body, but at the same time, he will hit you for, like, three times and kill you. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a fast rushdown character with, like, very subpar grounded burst. Yeah. His aerial burst is good because of, of like Tomahawk command grab and um, and like space fair as well as like just Nair mix up on shield. But all he all he really has is like a, a like a grounded burst options like Ubby and like dash tag which are both very laggy on wave and one takes a lot more to start up. But finally gets that at a hundred. 
no rage on board though, so you can definitely take at least one, two more hits. However, the problem is this uh, disadvantage is not looking good for Floppy as the up B comes out once more and the fair yeah, will take rolling. it. Floppy looking a little distraught. He just gets composure back and starting off with a good 44%. Trying to get something going with that down air, but not going to be able to get the hit that they need. Yeah, he, he's, he's getting stinky to like press a button, but he's not quite reacting to it. Wow, those wow. huge, those huge, those huge, those giant. Really good reversal coming out from uh, Floppy. There's no percent here, but he keeps landing back into him. Like, just take your space. He's giving it to you. Yeah, this is just looking like Floppy starting to get a little fastball. bit of advantage going that they had in the first game, but the composure is just not there yet as uh, Stinky3 has just been doing a really good job at taking these scramble situations into their favor. Yeah, just triple roll out. He's going to reset neutral. That, that, that's, that should be Floppy's game plan. This play is maximize neutral. Nothing but neutral. Yeah. That's what we really do in, in November. <laughs> Great uh, landing up air. Oh my god. That, that, that kind of like remind me of like how cloud up airs, they'll, fall, uh, that they'll, like, they'll get you on that platform and then follow you with the up air because they know yeah. you're going like, to run off or jump. These up -bees are not looking good for Floppy, but great Nice, gets back on the stage, huge. He's playing into him. Oh, you know, all right, wow, actually beats the side B attempt. He just needs to charge, but he keeps trying to fight this fight this turtle, gets through it, somehow whiffs, but that fair is going to take it. Big thing. And that's the thing, is like in these last scenarios, you're, you're really the only thing that should scare you is like getting getting side B grabbed. And yeah. if you have a fast button, like char uh, like charge shot, like, um, you just have charge shot on, on the tomahawk, and then if they try to grab you or like hit you through it, uh, it, will, it will always trade before the button, they, button they press. The only thing is maybe fair, but they generally Bowser have to space their fair so they don't get punished on it. Yeah, I definitely think that the second game should have gone with uh, Floppy's favor, but yeah, just like overall a huge the, advantage. Yeah, just overall really needed to keep the composure going in their favor, and game one was very very dominant. dominant. Yeah. So just the fact that they weren't able to keep things going with the second game and just the overall lack of ability to really stay in the stay within the overall confines of their game plan and just stay out of scramble situations was a real detriment to them as they were not well in the scramble yeah. situation. Like while Samus can really mix it up, and like he re he he knows he wants momentum, but that's the thing is like his owners like you never need to like force momentum. Like if you're playing a character without a real projectile, like yeah, the, the clock is ticking, but he had four minutes on the clock, so the clock's not even a problem yet. Yeah. Um. That's just a big thing. It's like last hit scenarios. That's that's when if you can camp, you need to camp the hardest because this game's all about like every Smash game rewards creating messed up situations in your favor um whether it's like you know marth marth dash backing you know fox just like you know da uh, like dash dancing in the corner lasering